Come on, a smoothie. This is a $2 blender from a thrift store, $2, $5, whatever it was. You don't need a Vitamix. Vitamix is a rip-off. Well, it's not really, but <laughs> Vitamix is a fucking good. I've got a Vitamix, but these are good as well. You know, I've got, well, actually, I don't have a Vitamix. I've had a Vitamix in the past, and they're fucking awesome. And these cheap blenders are good as well. Depends what you want to do. If you just want to make banana smoothies, you don't need a Vitamix. If you want to do, like, full-on green smoothies really fucking fine, yeah, the Vitamix or the Fruvi, the Fruvi Optimo 9200 or whatever, that's a good one as well. But don't think because you don't have big coin and you've just got a $5 blender that you can't make good fucking smoothies. Today's topic, my thoughts, my opinion on abortion during right, are you pro or anti-abortion or what's your take? Well, it's 20 fucking 15 and we've got about 153 fucking million orphans around the planet. 153 million orphans in orphanages or on the street or in child prostitution or whatever. Running drugs, whatever. Yes, kids, they use kids to fucking run drugs across borders or whatever. Strap on some heroin and his fucking three-year-old, get him to walk across wherever. That's how it is, mate. That's the fucking world we live in. A lot of people live in a little closet world of like, you know, shopping malls, unicorn hugs and fucking fairy farts. They've never really traveled. They go to a holiday in the Philippines and like, they're in the luxury accommodation and that's cool. But I think if you're going to go and hang out in luxury accommodation, let's go into the real world. Walk down the slums, ride your bike down the slums. I've done that. I've ridden through slums in in Philippines and Thailand, and people are just like, whoa, what's, what's he doing here? He must be lost, you know? It's totally safe, not an issue. But it's good to see how black people fucking live. And I've been to orphanages in Cambodia where the kids get paid a dollar a day to spin a little bicycle wheel just, just crocheting stuff. And they're happy doing that. That's all they can fucking do. And most of those kids are going to end up in the drug trade, sex trade, slavery trade, whatever. And that's the reality. So my stance on abortion is have a fucking abortion if you feel you necessarily need to do so. Don't have kids because your parents think, well, you can't have an abortion because it's against the Bible or whatever. Do what the fuck you want to do. If God is real, my question to God is how come we've got 153 million orphans on the planet? How come we've got 27,000 kids dying per day from starvation? Or maybe that's a question to ask the church. I don't know. Post down below what do you think? What's your stance on abortion? My stance is I've had a fucking vasectomy so I don't have to worry about abortions. I don't have to worry about getting freely pregnant because I've had a fucking vasectomy. Take care of the situation. <laughs> Treat the fucking cause versus fucking question, the, address the symptom. Treat the fucking cause versus address the symptom. I'm <laughs> like, what do you mean? Like, people say, what did you do for your conscious, what did you do for contraception? Have a fucking vasectomy. Snip yourself. Sterilize your fucking self. 153 million orphans, 7 billion or 6 billion, how many fucking people we got on the planet? 2015? Do we need more? Now this is not an anti-kids video, if you already got kids or babies or whatever, it's not an anti say, hey, you piece of shit, whatever. No, 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 I'm just saying, from today onwards, you know, or the next kid you're popping out, whatever, let's just think before we, let's think before we fuck and think before we breed. Do we need more kids on the planet? Okay, we've got enough kids as it is. Let's fucking sterilize ourselves and let's do something about these orphans. Let's do something about the kids in Australia, the kids in South Korea, North Korea, USA, kids all around the fucking world, man. Even the kids that have parents, the parents around smoking cigarettes, don't give a fuck about the kids, just another mouth to feed or get child welfare or whatever. You know, what we, do we really need, oh, it's not the same, I want my own child. And that's the sort of fucking attitude that gets us in the problems we're at. That's what, that's the attitude that creates 153 fucking million orphans. Yeah, that, that's the attitude it creates to the 27,000 kids under age 5 dying every fucking day because they don't have enough food or water. And I think that's fucked up. So that's why I had a vasectomy. That's why I'm never going to fucking breed because we've got enough fucking humans on the planet. Post your comments questions down below. Are you pro-abortion? What do you fucking, what do you think? Open up a can of peaches down below. See you next video. I just want, lastly, a, a lot of questions about being said about vasectomies or whatever. I had a vasectomy in 2005. Now the, the technology is a lot better. The scalpel-free technology, my friend Sean from One Minute Day, he had a vasectomy. Okay? I was just like, well, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's so easy now in 2015 to get a vasectomy, man. It's like making a fucking banana smoothie. I don't know why I got more guys don't do it. I think the reason more guys don't do it is because they're thinking in their head of some, some crazy surgery where they fucking chop your nuts and testicles off, ship them over, get them fixed up, ship them back, stitch them back on, and you're fucking done. No, 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 it's, it's in and out. I rode my bike back from surgery. Not that I recommend doing that, but I'm just showing that, I remember, well, I remember walking down the corridor to get my vasectomy, put in a little gown. I had a local anesthetic, which means they just anesthetize the 
the part of surgery, not the whole knockout thing or the general anesthesia. So I'm walking down the fucking corridor in the hospital in my little gown. I'm thinking they're gonna they're gonna fucking kill me. They're gonna kill me. And for a split second, I had a micro anxiety attack, and I was about to fucking run a sub fucking four minute mile back out the fucking hospital on my bike in the fucking gown down the street. And then I had this little split, harden the fuck up moment where I said, Harley, harden the fuck up. You're going to get a vasectomy. It's what you want. It's what the fucking world needs. Harden the fuck up and fucking keep on walking. Lay on that fucking surgery table. Let the surgeon chop your nuts. Sterilize the fucking ass. And that's what I did. And no regrets. No worries. Had a bit of pain for about a week. Just a little bit of irritation. No worries afterwards. These days, the surgery's a lot less invasive. And all my friends that have it done... They're like double thumbs up, and so their fucking girlfriends or their wives. All right, so think about that. The vasectomy definitely isn't as much pain as guys I think. Listen to people who've actually had a fucking vasectomy recently. All right, don't read the forums or whatever trolls or whatever fucking comments. Take my advice. Listen, well, not just not take my advice. Listen to my personal experience and say, is that the lifestyle I would like to live? Is it? And if it is, fucking take an action on it.